a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about long shot ETFs. Uh, so we know that the markets continue to be very, very volatile and uh, with inflation rising and monetary policy tightening, investors are trying to figure out which way the market will go. And now we are at the start of the earnings season as well. So uh, with that, the markets can continue to stay volatile and some investors are looking at these ETFs as a way to hedge their portfolios. So why long shot ETFs? So why long shot ETFs? Most ETFs are long only ETFs. So they invest in stocks or bonds or other asset classes. Uh, but these long shot ETFs, they go uh, take long position in certain stocks that they expect to outperform. And they take short positions in stocks that they expect to underperform. And uh, these are mostly actively managed. Uh, so if the managers select stocks right, then these ETFs have the potential to uh, generate capital appreciation, both in bullish and bearish markets. And because of long short uh, positions, these have low correlations to the broader market. And that way they have uh, some sort of the ad portfolio diversification benefits to the portfolio. And because of low correlations with the market, they provide uh, some hedge against volatile markets too. Now, uh, we will take a look at three such ETFs. So the first one that I'm highlighting is uh, BTAL, AGFIQ, US Market Neutral Anti-Beta Fund. It goes long, low beta stocks and short, high beta stocks. Uh, a bit pricey, and in fact, all these long short ETFs are pricey because shorting stocks is expensive, has about 156 million in assets to learn more you can go to the code page on sax.com. In fact, I did a podcast with the manager. You can listen to the podcast and using the link, you can go to the external home page and read what exactly it intends to do. So it basically provides exposure to the spread return between low and high beta stocks, and it aims to generate positive returns regardless of the direction of the market. Now you can also take a look at the holdings uh, for this ETF uh, uh, by look, you know, downloading the holdings. So uh, the holdings on the long side, American campus communities or ADP, American Electric Power Company. Uh, these are among the long holdings and for the short holdings you will see companies like United Steel Corporation, William Sonoma, Wayfair, etc. Now the second one that I'm highlighting is by Leather Bay. Uh, it's, a, it's a small provider and uh, this is their only ETF, the ticker symbol is LP. Uh, this focuses on income generation as well as capital appreciation. This is also actively managed with an expense ratio of 1.43% and has about 50 million in assets. And again, to learn more, you can go to the code page on zax.com. And from there, using the link, you can go to the external homepage, uh, see what it intends to do. So it uh, seeks income generation and capital ap appreciation. It will take long positions and securities that it believes will provide sustainable shareholder yield and short position in securities that it believes will underperform. So this is uh, somewhat unique about the CTF that it uh, intends to provide a nice shareholder yield too. Uh, so if you look at the top holdings, American, uh, so here are the top holdings, HR Block, FV, 
Exxon Mobil, all these high dividend companies, uh, nice dividend uh, generating companies are among the top holdings. On the short side, you will see Tesla, interesting, DoDash, Oli's bargain outlet. The third one that I'm highlighting is by First stress, it's the first stress long short equity ETF. The ticker symbol is FTLS. Short, long and short positions in US listed stocks has an expense ratio of 1.36%. And uh, this is much larger than the other two, 471 million in assets. And again, to learn more, you can go to the code page on sax.com. Uh, and you can read our research uh, report articles and using the link, you can go to the first stress web page for this ETF. Uh, so long and short positions and US uh, security, Apple, Microsoft, Walmart, Bristol Myers, these are the top holdings on the long side. And on the short side, you will see companies like Fidelity, National Information, Air Products, PNC Financial, etc. On the last slide, I have the comparative performance versus the S&P 500 index. Uh, so you will see that BTAL is up uh, about 23% over the past year. LB is up about 18%. First stress is kind of flattish, whereas the S&P 500 index is down about 11% over the past year. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And make sure to subscribe to our videos so that you do not miss anything. And I'll see you next week.